Friends, welcome to Easy and Home Style Cooking. I'm Mrs. Ragini. Today, I'm going to share a dessert recipe. And this is very, very, very nice and yummy, yummy recipe because I love the most and the most. This is nothing but Shahi Tukra with Mango Rabadi. Very, very simple to make and we are going to stuff and make this Shahi Tukra. So here to make the Shahi Tukra, we need the bread slice. And for Rabadi, here I have the milk. I was boiling for a couple of minutes. You know, I added half a liter of milk and you can see this has become into nice rabidi. It's not too thick, not too thin, but this is perfect. In this, we are going to add mango now. So here the rabidi is almost getting ready and the oil is also ready. And now we are going to make our sugar syrup. So here is a pan, add sugar and very little of water so that the sugar melts by the time you know so to make the shahi tukra as i said i'm going to stuff it here i have the koya and some paneer if you're taking half a cup of koya then you can take one tablespoon of paneer and in this we are going to add some all-purpose flour that is maida just to bind it if you want you can add some dry fruits also into this we're going to add very little of ilachi powder mix it nicely just for flavor and here I have the bread you can cut it into whichever shapes you want when I was a kid we always used to make double kamita in summers because we used to get lot of bread and we used to dry them and make an excellent double kamita just the name is different spread this koya and the paneer mixture onto the bread slice once you apply this mixture because the stuffing is thick so what you can do is just apply a little bit of water so that if you put one more bread slice that will stick to each other because we are going to fry this if it is not stick then it will come out when we drop it in the oil so see that this will stick to your mixture nicely now we are going to deep fry this so here the oil is also ready we are going to deep fry one by one how we fry for our double kamita the same way so dear friends here you can see this has become nice golden in color this should be little bit dark in color and just remove from the oil and keep this aside here you can see the sugar syrup is also ready in this we are going to add some cardamom powder for flavoring and mix this this is nice and hot when this is hot itself you need to drop your shahi tukra that is the bread one more let this soak for some time. Meanwhile, we are going to check our rabdi. So, difference here you can see our rabdi is nice and thick. And here I have the mango puree. If you add it in the milk and if you try to boil, the milk may curdle. So, what you can do is separately you boil your milk and make a rabdi and take the pulp. Separately you boil and you can make it into nice thick pulp. Now we are going to add this pulp into our rabdi and this rabdi is you know not hot it's little bit warm I switched off the flame and I kept it for some time so that this will become little bit warm and even the pulp is not hot it's also warm you can see this is mixed perfectly last we are going to add saffron color and this is ready to serve or plating in this if you want you can add some cardamom powder also but not required and now it's all ready for plating dear friends you can see this is perfectly soaked in our sugar syrup don't soak it too much you know we want little bit of that crunch from the bread we love that way and very gently put it onto a plate one more and now take a spoon the mango rabdi just put it on top in the last almonds sliced almonds or any dry fruits you can use and this is all ready to have see very very yummy and simple dish instead of making a regular double kamita dear friends you can try it out this instead of frying it in oil you can either deep fry it in ghee also i already showed you how to make toasted double kamita you can try that without calories so this is little bit extra calories but no problem once in a while 
you can have this. Now this is ready to go into my stomach. What you can do is just take a knife and put your rubbery little bit extra and mm. dear friends this is heavenly don't add too much of sugar in your rabdi otherwise it will be too sweet because we already dipped in sugar syrup don't add any sugar in the milk nor in the mango and this is perfect sweetness it's like so so yummy the rabdi is perfect and inside the stuffing which we added it's giving a nice and excellent taste if you like it make it share it and also feed your family fresh food